Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of FX's The Strain television series. This one will be for Season 1, Episode 2, which was called The Box. Alright, and as always, my reviews do contain spoilers, so for anyone who hasn't seen The Strain Episode 2 yet, you may want to watch that before you watch this review. Uh, so, uh, we basically have an episode guide for the entire first season of the TV series. Uh, 13 episodes, and we'll have to see whether or not it gets renewed for a second season. I think the premiere actually did not do that well. It only got about 3 million uh, views in terms of ratings, which is not that much, and I bet you the budget for it's pretty big. So um, I guess we'll have to see going forward, you know, how the series does. I think after the, such a good premiere, it should build and it should do pretty well over the course of the first season. Um, definitely for people who like a horror t the horror type genre for a TV series, there aren't too many horror thriller type TV shows like this one that are out there um, that are of this high quality. You know, you have like The Walking Dead, you have... There's some others, um, but there's not that many. So for people that like this type of genre, I think this is definitely um, you know, a good one to check out and one that hopefully we'll see it be successful and we'll see it get a second season. But I was a little you know, kind of wondering about the pacing of the show because with 13 episodes, especially right off the bat in the first season, you know, we don't know how, you know, how much each episode is going to get in terms of budget. We don't know how much is going to happen in each episode. Now, the premiere, I thought, was really fantastic. A lot of things were happening. You have the uh, the plane. You have them going through. It's really ominous. It's really dark. It's really scary. You don't know what's going to happen. And by the end, we get to see a full-on sort of uh, scene at the morgue where the doctor there gets uh, essentially um, you know, killed or overrun by all the different uh, infected people that are there. Um, so in this week, we did see a slower episode. Even though it was slower, I did still find it to be interesting, um, especially the last 10 minutes, roughly. They may have even benefited from possibly moving some of those events earlier on in the episode because during the middle, it did feel a little bit slow. And, uh, you know, I was kind of wondering, like, you know, okay, so what we're getting to see at this point in time in the series is essentially kind of like the outbreak of where the uh, the vampire i guess uh, strain or uh, or virus is is spreading um but it's not full-fledged you know uh spread already and essentially in this episode uh the people that there were four people that were taken uh, into quarantine they were released um, from quarantine uh, against the CDC doctor uh, Ephraim, our main character's uh, will. So with that, of course, we see it starting to spread already. We see um, the one singer character guy, Gabe, and he bites, the, he bites the girl on the neck, and you see some other stuff with some of the other characters as well, too. And that uh, guy who hated uh, Ephraim in the first episode, who was really upset about his daughter, whose daughter came home at the end of the episode, we got to see that kind of resolved in a pretty brutal fashion. One thing I'll say about the strain is it is it is really terrifying and it's shot really well, especially at the end, like when she's just kind of sitting there in the bathtub after she she I, I, I is it biting? Is it tonguing? I, I don't know what it is. It's weird. <laughs> you know, you guys tell me what, what you would refer to it as. Um, you know, basically, anyone who hasn't seen it, their tongues become like, it's almost like a mutant vampire. It's not like a simple vampire with the teeth. It's more like they become something out of like Blade 2, where their whole like face opens up. You guys remember that if you've seen Blade 2. Except in, in The Strain, their tongues become like this big injector type thing that is like the little worms, but in a bigger fashion. And then it goes and it bites and then it, uh, it spreads into the next person. And uh, it's really scary, man. It's really uncomfortable and terrifying to watch. I got to admit, it even freaks me out like crazy, too. So if you're younger, whatever, I would say, you know, be careful because you don't want to get nightmares or anything like that. If you're under maybe, I don't know, 15 or something like that, I wouldn't recommend it for you because it's just, it's, it's, it's pretty intense with the, uh, with the brutal scenes. We almost got to see a look at the master in this one, but of course they didn't give it to us. Um, which I was like, oh, you know, I kind of wanted to see what it looked like. At least we know he's got kind of a, you know, a shaved head type thing. He's got these really weird long fingernails. 
and uh, you know the guy that wears the big black cloak, and I'm assuming he's somewhat grotesque, uh, because in this one we saw the old guy who was helping them. It looks like maybe he was putting up the uh, finances to allow uh, you know the vampire side to to uh, begin their sort of spread, um, and he was pro he was promised some kind of it looks like uh, health you know new liver or something like that. I forget exactly what they said that uh, would allow him to live for longer because it seems like he's not, he doesn't have very long to live. So uh, as we've gotten to see, it's kind of, it looks like they're going to turn him into one of them and, you know, that type of thing. He'll become one of their, uh, you know, higher ups, I guess, so to speak. So, um, I mean, aside from that, in this episode, we had the stuff with uh, Abraham and his, his daughter, you know, that whole family thing again. We get to find out he was an alcoholic and he goes to Alcoholics Anonymous type uh, group therapy session, which I thought was good and actually very well acted and pretty touching, actually, to, to think about what the character is going through in that time. Pretty cool. And uh, aside from that, I mean, that's pretty much it for this episode. It was it was really, you know, spread out. There was the cool meeting b between Abraham and his lawyer or the one uh, guy from the uh, the vampire side. Let me grab his name. I'm still learning everybody's names. There's so many characters. His name is Thomas. Um, the one guy with really, uh, he's got a really slender face and he looks really, <laughs> I don't know, he's really creepy looking. Um, he plays a great vampire, that's for sure. So, yeah, I'm still learning a lot of different characters' names, so it's kind of difficult for me to review absolutely everything. But, you know, I think uh, that's pretty good for in terms of coverage. That's pretty much everything that happened in the episode. And uh, let's see, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I did think it was a good episode, but I didn't think it was as good as the premiere was. And um, I don't know, you know... It, I don't want the pacing to be too slow. I was hoping we would see more. We started to see a little bit of outbreak stuff, but I was hoping we would see more of it in this episode, kind of. But with the 13 episode season, I think it'll be kind of cool to see from Dr. Ephraim's uh, perspective, kind of how it starts at the beginning of the show. It's like regular life. And then probably by the end of the first season, we'll probably see, or at least maybe at this pacing, first season or second season, we'll see flat out, you know, apocalypse type. Uh, territory where where it's like a takeover essentially so uh, if you guys got to check out this week's episode of the strain the box let me know what you thought of it I thought it was really good really decent but not as strong as the premiere which I kind of expected with the amount of episodes they're doing so yeah that's pretty much all I got to say for it really freaky really scary and uh, interesting and and kind of fun too because I do like this this uh, genre I kind of like it when something can really freak me out like that so it's kind of cool I wouldn't really call I, I called them vampires last week which I guess they kind of are, but I don't know if that's the right term. You know what I mean? Like, should we refer to them as, they're kind of like mutant vampires more than just simple vampires. And the worm things are really scary too. So anyway, if you guys uh, like the review, if you like the episode, please sum it up below. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, please share it, please favorite it. And uh, that's all i got to say for this week's episode. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for the uh, review of episode three. And I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. See you next week. Strap and peace.